Clear Investigations reports that former FBI Director James Comey was secretly working to investigate and build a case against President Trump while he told Trump that Trump was not under investigation. Paul Sperry reports this, that this revelation is included in the Department of Justice Inspector General's upcoming report. If true, this means Comey refused to say that Trump wasn't under investigation publicly because Comey was lying to Trump privately, which would mean that when Trump fired Comey and Mueller was appointed as special counsel because Trump fired Comey, the whole narrative from the left was built on a house of Comey's lies. But did the mainstream media report on this? No, 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 they did not, of course not, because this undercuts the left's entire narrative on obstruction. Senator Bernie Sanders says we must raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. He says anything less is a starvation wage. But then his own campaign staffers reveal that Bernie Sanders pays them less than $15 an hour. And when they made a fuss and Bernie finally caved and paid them $15 an hour, he cut their hours so that he can afford that wage. Meanwhile, Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib says $15 an hour, that is not enough. She says we must raise the minimum wage to $20 an hour. But a posting on a job board for her campaign shows she only pays her staff $15 an hour. But did the mainstream media point out their hypocrisy? Nope, the mainstream media didn't say a word. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will. And that's...